Numbers are a great way to boost your vocabulary quickly. Learning just a handful of words and a few basic rules means you can construct literally an infinite number of words. Let's begin with 1 through 10. Nick. Hoyer. Koro. Duru. Tal. Zorga. Totla. Naim. Yus. Aru. There are a few special rules in constructing numbers you must learn. Mongolian numbers require you to modify the end of a number by adding an n whenever it precedes a noun or another number word. In some cases, there is also a need to reverse the order of the final few letters. For example, Gorov becomes Goruan by reversing the order of a and ve and adding an n. In other cases, there is a need to add a vowel between the last letter of the number and the n. For example, tau becomes taun by adding an. The exceptions are the numbers 1 and 2, which do not require any modification. However, for numbers greater than 1 that utilize 1, for example, 11, 21, 31, 1001, 1 is not an exception to the rule, but 2 is always an exception. This should become clear with examples. Let's start with numbers followed by nouns. Nick. Nick machine. Hoyer. Hoyer no hoy. Koro. Koroanger. Duru. Durun harnda. Tau. Taun hun. Zorga. Zorgan deptir. Tota. Toton imch. Naim. Naim and hazak. Yus. Yusung ayak. Aru. Arun mor. The preceding examples provide a glimpse at how to construct numbers greater than 10. The same basic rule of adding an n sound applies to numbers preceding other numbers. Let's review the numbers by tens before showing how the rule applies. Aru, Hur, Goch, Duch, Te, Jar, Dal, Nai, Yir. Okay, now let's look at examples with the rule in effect. Aru, there's no N modification because it is 10 by itself. Arun nik. Here there's an an sound added to arov. Arun hoir. Again there's an an sound added to arov, and this is true for 13 through 19 as well. Hur. There's no n modification again because it's 20 by itself. Hurun nik. There's an in added to hur. Hurun hoir. Again there is an in added to hur. And again, this is true for 23 through 29. Goch. Note no n. Gochintao. Note there's an n added to goch, and this pattern continues for all numbers. Here are some more examples. Arun duru. Arun yus. Horun goro. Horun naem. Gochintao. Kuchinyus Duchin Zorga Duchin Naim Taunik Tauntau Jarnik Tatunhoir Nainik Irun Zorga And the rule is consistent if you use these large numbers with nouns. For example, Kuchintau Kuchin taun ditir. Taun naim. Taun naim in hun. Finally, we end with zo myang. We use both much the same way as the other numbers. Zo nik. Zo ngochin tao. Hoir zo ntao. Yusun zo ngoch. Myang nik. Arun Myung. 
You may have also noticed that like Nick and Hoyer, Myung does not require modifying it with an N sound. This is true in compound numbers like Myung Nick. But it is not true when it precedes nouns. For example, Myungen Tugruk, Arun Myungen Hun. If you are keeping count, there are three exceptions. Nick by itself is not modified, but it is modified when it precedes nouns in numbers such as 11, 21, 31, 101. For example, Zon Nigen Uhir. Hoyer is never modified, it is always Hoyer. And Myung is not modified preceding numbers, but it is preceding nouns. The number words, basic modifying rule, and those three exceptions are all you need to memorize to literally make your vocabulary infinite in size.